I really like this movie. And then after I went back and watched Terminator 2, and I said, what the... I actually enjoyed this movie when I saw it. <laughs> I actually never actually sat down and watched the original Terminators because they came out in like 85, 1991 for T1 and T2. Um, I wasn't even born then. Stupid, stupid millennials. I was able to finally sit down and watch it actually after Dark Fate. I kind of felt like this movie felt more of like a rehash than it did its own kind of movie. It seemed like it had that T2 feel, but instead it was just a female, a female role on it. But some people, for some reason, they, they feel uh, they feel upset because they feel like it's trying to give women empowerment and crazy stuff, all kinds of crazy stuff people are talking about. I don't feel like they're doing that at all. It's just the storyline that they developed and, and what they wanted to do. At the beginning of the film, which kind of felt a little predictable when they were saying, oh, you're gonna carry the son that's gonna be the future. That's why the Terminator's coming to kill Danny. You then find out that she's not carrying the son. She is the actual chosen one that they are, they are coming back to uh, kill and destroy. Why are they always sending one Terminator at a fucking time? Just send a bunch of goddamn Terminators and get the job done, all right? I'm tired of, what, what the? What the hell are you doing sending just one Terminator? And this is a very divisive movie, let me just say that. Uh, people people are either hating this movie or, or really liking this movie, and I haven't really been finding a huge mix in between. I mean, let's get into the actors and the actresses. Of course, uh, Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. She did a fantastic job, as always, bringing her back from the original films. Uh, fantastic job. Everybody did a pretty good job. Of course, Arnold being T T-800, fantastic job. Surprising, actually, was Mackenzie Davis, who was great. She's actually one of the the newer uh, Terminators that have been sent, or she's not necessarily a full Terminator, but she's like a, she used to be a soldier in the future who's like cybernetically enhanced and she's actually coming back into the, or she's going to the past to actually help out uh, Danny, who is the, essentially the John Connor in this series to uh, save to save her. And then of course we have uh, Natalia Reyes playing Danny. She is the main character of the story, uh, similar to John Connor. The Terminators are coming back from the future to uh, kill her to prevent you know their, them losing in the, the future. And then uh, Gabriel, who plays uh, the new enhanced evil Terminator, he did a fantastic job. Um, those are really it though. They do have a few side characters like the family members. Diego's being played by Diego, huh? Her, her brother, Diego, is actually being, his actor named Diego. They couldn't have thought of another name for him, huh? <laughs> this movie was a fun movie. I would say if you haven't seen a Terminator film, it's a fun movie. It, the action is there. Uh, the story, they do explain the story well enough to someone who hasn't seen a Terminator. You know, they can just watch it and, and do their own thing and, and enjoy it for what it is, at least in my opinion. Um, and it's especially coming from me because I actually, like I said, I didn't see the other Terminators before this one, Terminator 1, Terminator 2. So me watching it as someone who hasn't seen the Terminators, I was like, okay, I, I get the story. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's got some good action. It's a, it's a fun little film to watch. Is this something you should check out in theaters? It depends. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag. For me personally, I did enjoy the film, so I would say yes. It, like I said, it has great action. Uh, it's a good little popcorn film. No, the, no crazy story that you're going to remember in the future, but it's still an enjoyable film to watch. Not going to be making my top 10 or, or anything crazy like that, so um, it, it definitely wasn't like one of my favorite movies of the year, but it was still enjoyable. A lot of people are arguing about the, the plot of the story. Another Arnold comes out in kills John after the, the events on, in Terminator 2 is what they're explaining. So apparently there's like, I believe now there's three different types of storylines. Uh, obviously time time travel is uh, a mind fuck of a disaster to work with anyway. From the Terminator 1 to Terminator 2 story to the Terminator 
to the Salvation story to now the Terminator to the Dark Fate story. It seems like now they just have, they're trying to juggle all these different stories. So after I watched the old Terminators and then I thought more on this film, I'm kind of like, man, like what the fuck? <laughs> uh, this film has so many tie-ins to Terminator 2, not necessarily just story-wise, but just so many things they take from Terminator 2. Arnold coming back did a fantastic job too. You really think when seeing the previews, that Arnold's probably just gonna be in the film for a couple of minutes or he's gonna have a quick little cameo. But he actually, uh, when showing up in the third act, he's actually there for a while and he did a he did a phenomenal role and did a, did a good job there. Even though this movie made me feel a lot more suspect after watching Terminator 1 and 2, I still enjoyed Dark Fate. I mean, I still enjoyed the action of it. I still enjoyed the pacing of the action and uh, the, the story, I was, in, I was invested with all the characters. So for me personally, even after watching T1 and T2, I still enjoyed it for that aspect. The story now is, is a little, I'm on the little what the fuck kind of side with it. And you know, they, they wanted to, I feel like they wanted, they really wanted to take a turn after Salvation and, and the other ones they did after two. You know, they didn't get a lot of great criticism. Uh, their movie didn't make a lot of money. Apparently this one um, is, is under uh, over a hundred million dollars so far with it. So it's going to be hard for them to come out and uh, hopefully break even and, and make some money on this film. The question for you guys, do you guys want to keep seeing them hit on the Terminator franchise? And what stories do you feel like they should touch? Uh, I want you guys to post in the comments below. This film seems like story-wise it's a poor man's version of T2. It really has, it, they try to build all the elements from T2 and essentially it, it doesn't it doesn't really make it, in my opinion at least, when it comes to the story. But I mean, let's, let's be fair, Terminator 2 is arguably one of the greatest films, arguably of all time. So, you know, when you're comparing apples to oranges, you really can't put it in that same category. But I did feel like Dark Fate did do the job on what it was trying to accomplish um, as a as a full story, at least in my opinion, I, I can't lie. I was I felt Arnold's death at the end, the T eight hundred when he landed and he said for John. You know we didn't get we didn't get the classic thumbs up from T two, but I, I still thought it was a it was a big death and uh, I mean all the all three of them actually ended up uh, dying. The Terminator. Uh, the evil Terminator and uh, Grace, so uh, it was like a, tri a triple kill of cybernetics. So it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. So of course, of course, they still fucking leave it open ended. So you know, more Terminators can come at any damn day. They have to prepare at all times, and uh, you know, Danny and Sarah still staying alive. It's kind of like. We'll see, of course they leave it open-ended though. Terminator Dark Fate, comment down below. What did you guys think of the film? I'm very interested because like I said, it's been very divisive. Hate and love from what I've been hearing. So let me know you guys' thoughts down there below. I'll be back. <laughs>